I hope you have your listening ears on because I'm about to show you the best way to start off on Pell World so that you can get leveled up the fastest in the early stages of this game. This video will take you from a lonely castaway to a Nightwing riding, fire blasting, ready to conquer the game player. We're gonna go over the quickest way to level 20, where all the loot chests are in the spawn area, what pals you need for your base, the best places for a starter base, and much, much more. Once you load in from making your character, you're gonna wanna slide down the stairs behind you, jump over the wall, and you should basically land at a chest. Make your way back up the steps behind you, Grab the castaway note, and once you make it past the second set of steps, there should be another chest. Make your way back to the starting area. Gather sticks and stones as you walk to the first NPC at the campfire. Talking to him will get you 10 sticks. If you got blessed with the chest to have pal spears, start catching kativas because they give you a carry weight bonus of 50 for each kativa in your party. This helps gather more resources as you start. If not, there are two more chests on the way to where I think is the best starting base location. Once you make it to the location, place down your primitive workbench and craft all the level 1 tools. What makes a great starter location is having an ore node in the area along with stones and trees. You should be past level 2 already, so go into technologies and unlock all of level 2 so you can actually start your base and be able to craft spheres to catch pals. I suggest crafting a repair bench because your tools will break as you gather resources. A chest to place your resources in and a campfire just to have one going. Once your base is established, start gathering resources to craft pal spears. You can either go in waves and craft 10 at a time and then use them to capture pals or grind out the farming to gather 50 plus spears to go on a catching spree. Total resources for 50 spears is 50 paladin fragments, 150 stone, and 150 wood. The fastest way to level up in this game is to capture 10 of each pal. By doing so, you get an XP bonus for each one. Capture 10 kativas, lamb balls, and chickpeas to reach level 10. Once you hit level 5, I'd go into your technology tab and unlock the shoddy bed, straw pal bed, cloth, arrows, common shield, cloth outfit, feed box, berry plantation, and the normal parachute. Spend a few minutes making your pals a few beds, a berry plantation, and a feed box. I would have a kativa as my first working pal. Complete the base leveling up till you have three or more available pals to put to work. Add another kativa alongside a lamb ball. They should gather stone and palladium fragments as well as put them in your chest for you. Finish capturing the three starters to get you to level 10. Obviously, if you see other new pals, take the time to capture them as well. Just note, the first three are the easiest to capture, especially at night when they are sleeping. Once you've made it to level 10 or higher, once again, open your technology tab and unlock the pal gear workbench, statue of power, logging site, stone pit, bat, Crusher, Hot Springs, Three Shot Bow, Primitive Furnace, and the Nails. This is where it starts to get easier. Begin working on crafting the Bat, Three Shot Bow, at least 100 arrows, a Common Shield, Normal Parachute, Cloth Outfit, and more Pal Spears. You can continue to work on your base levels as you do this if you'd like, or you can ignore it till you're at level 20. Once you have all these things crafted and equipped, you're going to want to go after the rest of the Pals in the starting area. But first, let me point out a few. Number one, you're going to want to find a Nightwing as soon as you can. Having the bow makes it a lot easier. Make sure to add him to your party so it levels up with you. Number two, at night, if you run into a Tombat, make sure you capture him. He will gather the ore for you and your base, which you will need later to craft the Nightwing saddle. Number three, capturing a Pengulet and a Gumos is great for growing crops at your base. Number four, once you have multiple Fox Barks, you should have the materials you need to craft his harness to have his flamethrower ability. Number five, once you have some daydreams, you can unlock and craft the collar that allows it to be outside of its ball while in your party. Keep these in mind as your goal now is to continue capturing 10 of each pal in the area. Doing this effectively will get you to level 20. There should be fox parks, pangolets, gumos, who crates, depressos, cremis, daydream, malpaca, night wings, and possibly a nox. Sooner than later, you should be level 15 and have unlocked the Nightwing saddle. Using the primitive furnace, smelt some ingots and craft the saddle to be able to fly around the map. This is the point where you can make a choice. Either you can stay here in this starting area and continue to finish collecting 10 of each pal like this video is about, or you can fly over the river right here and get a few more different types of pals that'll make it a bit quicker to level up. The choice is yours. It can get a little slow if you gotta wait around for night for different pals to spawn in is all. 
I've gone over all the basics on how to get to level 20, the fastest. All I have left is a few more tips that will help you out along the way. When it comes to stat points, I suggest putting the first three to four into work speed so that crafting is much quicker. After that, I'd split it between carry weight and stamina till level 10. Then focus on health and carry weight. Get your health over a thousand, then the rest into carry weight up to level 20. Here is a map of all six chests that I have found in the spawn area. Having Fox Park's harness, Daydream's collar, along with Nightwing, is a good start for exploring into new areas. I'd go after the Chillet for the ancient civilization parts, and then go to the beach behind spawn to a cave that has sulfur and coal for later on. Plus it's great for leveling up and new pals. Lastly, the other two base locations are here marked on the map. They both have an ore node and enough resources to get started. If there's anything I didn't cover or something else you would like me to go over when it comes to Pal World, please leave a comment down below. Till next time, it's your boy Double D. Peace out.